tell us a little bit more about uh, getting access to this particular hospital um, in this moment? Yeah, I think we, we sort of woke up in early March as the first cases started to come into the U.S. and just felt this huge moral obliga obligation to tell this story. At that point, you know, we were sort of plastered with headlines and stats and misinformation um, around this disease. And I think our goal was to really put a human face to it. And so we set out to reach out to hospital systems all across the country, um, got rejected from pretty much every hospital system around the country, but finally got access in this one hospital in our hometown in New York. And you know, it was obviously a bit fortuitous. We, at that point, we had no idea that New York would become the epicenter. Um, and we sort of naively thought we'd be filmed for sort of one or two weeks and this would all be over. Um, and obviously that, that didn't happen. Yeah. And you ended up filming for like much, like past the time that actually the story you found in the film was one thing, but you en ended up filming a little bit longer than that, right? Yeah, we filmed um, sort of through, through the summer. Yeah. Um, so I'm curious if, I think you've seen the film before. I don't know. I'm, I'm curious your reaction to it, having <laughs> lived it, <laughs> not remembered it. Um, curious to hear from you all. What was that first reaction? And if you're able to share kind of your feelings towards that. Watching the film is very emotional at the end of the day. I'm really happy how far I came because in the beginning, it didn't look too good. <laughs> it was very bad for me. And today you see a strong man standing, standing in front of you. It took a long time for me to get here. I'm standing strong. I'm happy. I'm smiling. I'm a warrior. You know, I didn't give up. And that was the main thing. It's emotional, but I'm here. You know, I, I, I couldn't give up, like I said. The first time I watched it, I literally felt I had a panic attack. Yeah. Going through it, I was like on autopilot for most of it. And then to watch it, and to see it from so many different vantage points that I couldn't even, get to do it and this film kind of forced me to sit in it in a good way in some sense to try to process this oh man i'm gonna i'm gonna get through this <laughs> okay 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 it was emotional <laughs> But yet, it was just so beautiful. It finally didn't just focus on the virus, COVID-19, the numbers, the statistics affiliated with COVID-19. There were voices that we can associate with people. There were names. There were families. It was something that I felt so many people could finally relate to that I can't really articulate. <laughs> so, this movie is a whole bunch of things. Um, it's cathartic for some of us who work through it. It's traumatic for people who work through it or living with it. It's triumphant. Mm -hmm. It is all the complexities of what we're living through culminated in, what, 94 minutes? 94, 94 minutes. So, um, yeah, so long story short, uh, that's how my reaction was this. <laughs> Complicated, <laughs> just, yeah. Lord. Okay, I gotta do this, Lord. Okay. Seeing the movie for the first time, it was, it was very heavy, but seeing it tonight with my husband, he's there upstairs. Oh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it made me more valued life. And I realized how much he loves me. <laughs> <laughs> but this movie is very fantastic. Like, it will tell you stories of struggles 
and sacrifices of the families and all the healthcare workers, and especially the team, Matt's team, they were amazing. This will deliver a very good message for everyone. We need to be more patient and persevere for each one of us. And we need to be grateful for what we have right now. Yes, yes. That's actually a great segue to my next question before I open it up, which is what, what do you hope people take from this, from your story? Like this is your story and this is, a, I think Matt does a, and the team did a great job of being a witness to this time. What do you hope is, you know, conveyed? I think that's a great, being grateful is one of those things. Do you have anything else you want to add to that, Ahmed or Alexis? Or <laughs> Grateful, yeah. thankful. Um, always stay positive. Always keep a positive mind. With a positive mind, guess you'll fall away. You could be any battle. You think negative, you're going to fail. You've got to have that hope, that will. If you want it, you're going to get it. And just continue being strong, continue being high, and you're going to get what you want in life. Don't ever fall, don't think negative. Continue staying high, continue being positive, and you'll, go, you'll get that green light. Um, I, I hope people see in this film, like, really get out of it the connections that we all have. Um, and at most parts, like, I didn't even know. <laughs> um, there, the medical team was so connected to Ahmed and um, really became his family there when we couldn't be at the hospital. So people could really um, get out of it, you know, the connections that we had there and, and continue that after the pandemic and continue to um, kind of be with each other and help each other and you know, that's really like, the vaccine is helping everybody not get COVID, even though it's not kind of your, you know, a lot of people think it's like, oh, I'm not gonna spread it, I'm young or, but even if you're young, you could still get COVID and still have complications. With the beginning of the pandemic, there was an urgency to act, to do something, to combat this current pandemic. That's with COVID-19 and that's also with racism. Individually, we all play a role. Our inaction is also a type of action that can prevent us from being great. We've been so accustomed to things that are good, that it's comfortable, but we're so much more when we collectively focus on the quality of life that each of us fully want to, to inhabit and enjoy while we're here. Time is limited. We don't know the next day. And this pandemic is straining the core of the healthcare system. Us healthcare workers, particularly who are in the hospital, we are struggling. Irrespective of whether you have COVID or not, if you have cancer, there are hospitals who have no room for you because we are inundated with COVID. And a lot of us, because it's not happening to us immediately or in the close distance, we forget out of sight, out of mind. But I want people to hold on to that urgency, that desire to want to live because there were people who wanted to live and they couldn't. <laughs> and we have tools in our arsenal to prevent the senseless suffering that, that is still happening, because it's still effing happening. And people don't deserve this. <laughs> we don't. So whatever we can do, both individually, so we can come together collectively, please. <laughs> because a lot of us in healthcare, we're struggling. We, we can't save everyone. We can't. But if we all play our part, there has to be more than this. There has to be. 
All right, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. But I, can, I think I can speak on behalf of the entire crew. Is is of course it was scary. Of course it was terrifying, and we were sort of m figuring this all out as as they were all figuring out you know what, how to keep ourselves safe, how to not infect our crew, how to not infect them, how to not infect our editors. I mean, the whole sort of logistics of making this was a whole puzzle. And Jenna and our team did an incredible job um, sort of managing it all. But I think the thing that inspired us every single day was just the the love and the humanity and the courage and the fortitude that we saw and witnessed every single day. I think we all just felt such a privilege to be able to see that. And we didn't go to bed at night sort of feeling sad about the state of the world. We went to bed at night feeling deeply, deeply, deeply inspired. And, and these films are really hard to get, get people to watch. I really appreciate you guys coming here. And if, if it, you were at all moved, I just, we're, we're opening theaters next week. I just really encourage you to tell your friends, your enemies, <laughs> your ex-boyfriends, yeah. ex ex-girlfriends, who, whatever. Um, just, yeah. I, thank you. I think the takeaway is that we have to re-examine how we relate to our heroes, that our heroes are human and that they're mm -hmm. fragile and that they can break, but that what makes them heroes is they keep going every day. And so we need to not forget about them as we start to move on. Yeah. Support. All right. Thank you all so much for being here. Yeah. Truly an honor. We got through it. We're <laughs> yeah, still we here. <laughs> Mask up, hang out outside. <laughs> Thank you all for coming. Um, tell your friends about the film. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you.